Yes, welcome back to Why in the Morning Entrepreneurship Tuesday in particular. I go by the name of Barry Moses, so it's Barry Morning, the social media platform. And as I always say, uh, as I always say, it, uh, we are living in the information age and so many opportunities have come uh, with living in the information age and today in particular i'd like to address this particular one called forex trading if you're joining us for the first time uh, this is just uh, your chance to make some back sit it at home and if you're part of the Y in the Morning family, you already know about these guys. Uh, one goes by the name Sarah and the other one, Lenin Kadenge. Karibuni sana. Pleasure. All right, Kadenge, the first question is not about Forex trading. Are you related to Kadenge? I'll rewind it all over again. No, 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 but yeah. we come from the same community. You come from the same community? Yes. The same village? No, 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 no. All right. Yes, it's a uh, little bit of distance. All right, uh, the send-off was quite uh, quite a good one, and I'm so proud of what Kenyans, uh, our Kenyans uh, uh, did the send-off for this week. Uh, do you support that we should name a stadium uh, after the legend himself? I think I think to me I support that because uh, those were the days we grew up. We only knew football mm -hmm. was associated to him. We grew up knowing that until we were told now the Kadenga you know is not the Kadenga who is playing right now because uh -huh. I went to school with his son Oscar. Uh -huh. And so we were in the same school with Oscar. Uh -huh. So when I used to see Oscar play, uh -huh. I used to relate to, to the father. So All right. Yeah. Uh, that is not the reason we're here today, though. <laughs> but our condolences uh, to the friends and family of Joe Kadenga himself. Mm -hmm. uh, but you guys can introduce yourselves all over again. Uh, we can start with Mr. Wycliffe. Your camera is number four. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Wycliffe Sewe, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm an excited Forex trader. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, it's nice to have you this wonderful morning once again. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. no. uh, introduction. Just a brief introduction. Okay. My, 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 my name is Lenin Kadenge, uh -huh. and um, I'm, I'm, I'm an excited forex trader. Uh -huh. Apart from that, also, I'm a mentor. You're a mentor? Yes. In this field? Yes. In particular? In particular, Forex. Uh, and this is a, a season one, episode two mm. of Forex Trading on Y in the morning. <laughs> yes. And uh, previously on Forex Trading, yes. uh, you told us this is not for uh, for the elite. True. That was the message I left with. Yes. This thing is not for the elite. You can learn, you can trade, and you can make money for yourself. And yes. you can empower yourself through this. True. All right. Mm. So uh, I'd like to take you back to previously before we can carry on. Mm. And uh, the biggest question is always, uh, what is the first step and how do I get to be a Forex trader? The first step and how sh would you get to be a Forex trader? One mm. of the key things in every given field is mm -hmm. you need an interest. Mm -hmm. Interest to an extent whereby you're asking yourself a question. The thing I'm going to be interested in is it's th there's something that can add value to my life. Mm -hmm. And then it's from there now, having developed an interest now, mm -hmm. you need to take a step whereby you're saying, okay, I need to find how can I develop my interest mm -hmm. by basically looking for a skill or mm -hmm. knowledge or uh, searching for education on that, uh, what is it that has given you interest on. Mm -hmm. So to me, that is the foundation. The foundation the is the interest. Yes. Define Forex trading, two marks. The first question. <laughs> <laughs> Forex trading basically uh, it's a uh, very simple. Uh -huh. As, uh, uh, given that the forex is just an abbreviation for uh -huh. foreign exchange, uh -huh. which it involves uh, buying and selling of uh, currencies, foreign currencies. Buying As and selling, selling of currencies. Yes, exactly. And you make money in the process. Uh, and you make mm -hmm. money in the process. All right, there True. are two. Uh, I think there are other three forms of currencies uh, that people don't really relate to as currency. And you told me one is gold. Yes, one is gold, uh -huh. and also you have got uh, U.S. oil. Those mm -hmm. are commodities and indices. We uh -huh. have commodities and indices also, which uh, we usually, which we usually transact during the process of conducting the foreign exchange. All right. Uh, yes. Forex trading has been made easy. Uh, now we don't have to sit in a hall uh, as forex traders and check the the indices, as <laughs> yes, you call yes, them, yes. and the graphs, yes, and yes. buy and sell. You can yes. do it from your phone. Exactly. And this is the agenda you guys are pushing. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I think Forex has been made easy to an extent whereby now at, at your comfort, mm -hmm. as long as you have a smartphone and you're accessible to internet, uh, you can learn Forex and transact your business on the phone wherever you are at. Uh -huh. And that is how easy it has been made. That is how easy it has yes. been made. Somebody challenged me after we had the conversation last time. Yes. And that person told me, uh, say today, 
God mm -hmm. forbid, yes. something happens in the UK, yes. something happens, oh, the dollar is the, 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 the global currency. Exactly. Yes. All right, so something happens in the US, uh, the dollar is going to plummet for sure. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's a piece of paper. But they asked me, uh, this gold that we have in Africa, this yeah. gold that they get from Africa, yes. is it the safest form of wealth to keep? This gold we have in Africa, mm -hmm. is it the safest uh, form of wealth for us to keep? Mm -hmm. You will realize one thing, and this is a fact, mm -hmm. and we can't deny from it, that uh, even in as much as in Africa we have gold, mm -hmm. uh, who are the miners, the mm -hmm. foreigners? Mm -hmm. And so worldwide, uh, the, the safe haven for gold in the world is in, in, in Japan. Mm -hmm. And so uh, in as much as it will be taken here to the US, to wherever, mm -hmm. they consider uh, Japan as a safe haven. So, mm -hmm. Uh, the world uh, powers themselves, mm -hmm. whether the gold is in Africa, is in Europe, mm -hmm. is where, they will know that this is a precious thing and they'll have to protect it with all their might. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's safe to trade it? It's safe, safe to, to trade, trade it. it. Uh -huh. Very safe. It's an old age trade exchange that mm -hmm. has been there even during the days of butter trade. You remember those uh -huh. days? Mm -hmm. And it is one of the key things or commodities that has forever remained valuable. Valuable. Right. up to this point in time wonderful so yes. maybe you can list for us the the, the currencies we are still in previously on okay. yes, uh, yes. The, the currencies that are listed uh, as uh the, the tradable ones okay. for lack of better words okay good um i'll start with the common one which uh, all of us we know we have got the u.s dollar mm -hmm. we have got the new zealand dollar mm -hmm. we have got the australian dollar mm -hmm. we have got the japanese yen mm -hmm. we have got the british pound mm -hmm. We have got the South African rand. Mm -hmm. um, we also have got the. Also, those are how many? How many of those? I think six. We this the euro is there as well. The euro is there as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The CHF, uh -huh. the Swiss, Swiss franc. franc. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. So in Africa, we only have the South African rand. The South yes. African rand. All right. Uh, which exchange it exchanges to the shilling at what rate right now? Maybe uh, when you guys woke up, what was the exchange rate? Of for the rent. South African run, yeah. you will realize that uh, every other exchange rate for, for in our market is we do pairs. Uh -huh. uh, you do not uh, just uh, sell uh, a currency on its own. Uh -huh. We pair it uh, with another. Like, uh -huh. for example, today we are on, uh, on, on, on a currency pair of uh, GBP USD. That is uh -huh. Great British Pound and uh -huh. uh, the US dollars. So looking at uh, the, the figures, you will realize now, Right now is at uh, 1.24. 1.24, you headed to 1.23. Because mm. of w what is happening today, I think there is election. Uh -huh. So again, if Boris comes in, definitely uh, for the traders who are uh, going bearish, uh -huh. they, are, they are in business. For those who are going bullish, uh -huh. bad for them. All right. Yeah. So this, <laughs> see, it sounds like Greek when you say it. So maybe to the layman. Okay. Uh, first, mm. let's start with comparing. Uh, uh, GBP, the Great Brit uh, Britain Pound, yes. and the dollar. When yes. you say comparing the two, what does this mean in a layman language? Okay, good. Uh -huh. You see, when uh, you are trading currencies, uh -huh. currencies are usually paired. Uh -huh. Okay? Like uh, he mentioned GBP USD, uh -huh. the first currency is usually known as the base currency, uh -huh. which means you are selling it against the against the other. Uh -huh. Or you are buying, buying it against the other. Uh -huh. So GBP is the base one, while well, USD is the quote currency, uh -huh. what you are pairing it against. Uh -huh. Are you getting it? Uh -huh. I'm so with you up to, we up are to that point. Yeah. So when he mentions uh -huh. that uh, right now, actually when we are looking at the price for that pair, uh -huh. the GBP, uh, USD, it's at uh, 1.24. When uh, I mentioned that it's going towards 0 0.1, 0 0.23, so from 1.24 to 1.23, it means it's going down. Uh -huh. So when he mentioned that the bearish are having a, are having uh, their wow moment it uh -huh. means bearish are simply sellers uh -huh. so people who are out selling gbp usd uh -huh. they're having a wow moment uh -huh. well if you're there if you didn't do your analysis correct uh -huh. and you're buying that type of a currency pair mm -hmm. Uh, that's what you mentioned. Uh, they are crying somewhere. All right. You <laughs> mentioned that uh, we have elections in the UK. Yeah? Yes. All right. So these are some of the factors that affect uh, uh, the market. Yes. Elections. Yes. What other things affect the market? Uh, you will realize that uh, we are dealing with four major market sessions. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is we have the New York, we have the London, we have the Tokyo, and we have the Sydney sessions. Mm -hmm. And so these markets are majorly uh, affected by the world powers. Mm -hmm. 
And one of the key things of the, the, the effects, uh, I think uh, last week on uh, Friday, mm -hmm. there was this uh, uh, drone that was uh, shot down. Mm -hmm. Again, it affected the US dollar. Mm -hmm. So again, there are factors when we have issues wrangled in the, in, in the Middle East uh -huh. to do with oil issues. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When uh, our, our, our friend who is also a fellow trader like us, Trump, uh -huh. uh, when he talks, uh -huh. Uh -huh. The effect when so he tweets, when he tweets, <laughs> uh -huh. the effect. So you will realize that uh, world world powers are the guys who really, to to an extent, uh -huh. affect and especially when we market have like uh, market movers and especially uh -huh. when we have uh, economic forums uh -huh. uh, all over the world uh, taking place. Uh -huh. Whatever results or whatever conclusions or summary they come up with, mm -hmm. in one way or another, they will affect uh, the various uh, major. So currencies. you have to be very observant with yes. the world powers, exactly. true, true. with the markets that matter. Yes. Exactly. All right. So when you when you mentioned Middle East. When it comes to oil, yes. Do we look at South Africa when it comes to gold? South Africa, when it comes to gold, I think uh, uh, when it comes to gold, we are basically looking at uh, where the market is, uh -huh. and uh, you will realize that uh, South Africa is just but uh, an industry that produces gold. Mm -hmm. You will produce, but where is the market? Uh -huh. So the market movers are key, uh -huh. not the producers to uh -huh. that extent, because uh -huh. that is one th key I, I, I believe in when it comes to forex trading. Mm -hmm. So you will realize that uh, South Africa, yes, it will produce gold, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, who are the guys who give it value? Uh -huh. Are these market movers? And uh -huh. so the guys who give it value are the major powers. Very important. Yes, Last time you also mentioned that uh, all you need is basic arithmetic skills. Exactly. To be a forex trader, true. We do you don't need to have a suit like <laughs> no, <laughs> like we have today no, no. to be forex traders. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, please break this down for me. Do you think that Mama Mboga somewhere or that shopkeeper who has basic education, maybe class four level or class eight level, can be a forex trader? Exactly. Uh, given the fact that uh, being a forex trader does not mean that. Uh, you will be trading all the time, mm -hmm. given that, uh, as my colleague has just mentioned, mm -hmm. we have got different trading sessions, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, for instance, as a Mamamboga, for example, mm -hmm. we'll find that uh, he or she usually has got moments where there, uh, there is traffic towards his business. Mm -hmm. And there are also those moments when um, he's mo she's more of relaxed, something mm -hmm. of the sort. So she can be taking advantage of that, given that the only thing that uh, you require is only mm -hmm. a smartphone mm -hmm. and given that nowadays uh, smartphones are easily accessible mm -hmm. with uh, your data bundles uh -huh. so when there is no traffic actually you can be using those moments to trade making a few bucks from it All right like uh, the uh, most important uh, thing is also the information the information how right. can they get this information on trading and how to trade i think uh, on trading and how to trade and that's why we, we we're coming in and we are telling people mm acquiring a skill that uh, will pay you for the rest of your life is key uh -huh. and that's why we we, we we have an academy that has uh, put this uh, information in a very basic simple form like uh -huh. you have just said uh -huh. any so long as you're a class 4 liver uh -huh. we always give them a very basic minimum requirement for you to be part of, uh, of this uh -huh. academy uh -huh. are you a class 4 liver uh -huh. are you or or let's let's not say a class 4 liver uh -huh. let's say are you a class four graduate? Class four graduate. <laughs> yes. Did you graduate class yes. four? Uh -huh. Did you graduate from class four? Uh -huh. if, if you graduated from class four, then this academy suits you. Uh -huh. The information that is part and parcel of this academy is so basic in a very simple way. Uh -huh. And I always give people a very simple example. Uh -huh. If and when you can spend time just to watch cartoons or mm -hmm. to watch a movie for more or than... Or videos on Facebook. Yes, or, or videos Instagram. on Facebook or Instagram, okay. Instagram for uh -huh. more than 15 minutes. Uh -huh. and then this academy suits you because uh -huh. it has been put in an audio visual form because again uh -huh. the founders of this academy realize that uh -huh. uh, if i give a mamamboga or someone who is so busy not to read definitely they will not do that uh -huh. but they can listen to something uh -huh. and in the process of listening to something uh -huh. then they are able to grasp the knowledge instead of me listening to some crap, sorry to say that, on Facebook or uh -huh. whichever uh -huh. uh, social that media. That doesn't add value. That doesn't add value. Mm -hmm. I can listen to something that adds value to me. And so that is why now the makers or the founders of the academy had to go that way. All right. Yes. Say uh, 40 million Kenyans. We yes. have 40 million Kenyans. Yes. Uh, maybe up to 20 million are minors. Yeah. Yes. So imagine 20 million Kenyans mm -hmm. uh, trading Forex. Mm -hmm. Is that sustainable? 40 million, 20 million Kenyans. Yeah. 
My brother, I'm talking about 5.3 trillion US dollars per day. It was updated to 6.1 it, it, trillion. Yes, it has been updated to 6.1 <laughs> trillion the other day. Mm -hmm. Yes. So float. Um, yes, yes, float <laughs> per day. No, I want you to again check the same mathematics. Just divide it uh -huh. by those 20 million Kenyans. Give every give, give every Kenyan a million. Uh -huh. How much are, have we even touched, scratched uh, the market? Uh, we have not got into a trillion. Yes. Yeah, so even all uh -huh. of us, even if you say all of us, the 40 millions of us Kenyans, we go into trading. Uh -huh. We will not even have scratched a, a percentage of what uh, the market so offers. So all of us can get into this and yes. our extra time can be turned into some money. Exactly. True. Exactly. Uh, this, wage is, uh, this uh, wave is catching... Uh, it's catching Africa. It's yes. been abroad for a while. Yes. People have been trading uh, in America, in England. People have been trading. Yes. It's catching in Africa. Yes. Do you think Kenya is a leader as we speak when it comes to foreign, forex trading? Okay. Uh, at the moment, uh, I'll say uh, Kenyans right now, mm -hmm. from uh, what I've, I've observed, mm -hmm. at least uh, guys are getting to know what forex is. Mm -hmm. And uh, given that information is now easily accessible, mm -hmm. I've seen um, there is the there is that increment mm -hmm. of the guys who are now participating in the forex industry, mm -hmm. but uh, statistics wise, uh, South Africans are still uh, uh -huh. ahead of us. But uh, Kenyans are coming. Kenyans are coming. Kenyans are coming. Given that now, at least people are able not to get the right information concerning forex mm -hmm. and information which they didn't have back before, mm -hmm. and uh, with the notion that guys thought that this business is only meant for the a certain category of people they lead mm -hmm. but now given that they know ah this is something that i can easily tap into it doesn't matter whether i'm uh, from from a uh, class four graduate something mm -hmm. of a sort there is a nice response it's catching up. From statistics say yeah. uh, we have an uh, unemployment rate of up to 40 percent if mm -hmm. i'm not wrong yes yes. yes 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 do you think this 40 percent have a place here it can solve this problem of ours of unemployment is it something somebody can do full-time I, th I think I, th I think uh, that forty percent can reduce if mm -hmm. and when we diligently, uh, like I said, uh, have an interest in doing something that mm -hmm. uh, can elev elev elevate poverty. Mm -hmm. You are looking at it and you are saying uh, one of the key things I I remember even last time I said is mm -hmm. Kenya, we have what it takes to be on the top. Mm -hmm. The only thing we need to appreciate is the process. Mm -hmm. If all of us, all, all of us, we will just uh, go back to the process. Mm -hmm. And the process that requires me to get out of this uh, lack of employment is, mm -hmm. there is there is something here that needs my skill to, mm -hmm. so that I can uh, propagate it or be part and parcel of it. And then if and when we will embrace that, our technology is far much better than SA, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to issues SA, I don't know if they have uh, M-Pesa. Uh -huh. If they have, they are copying mobile us. Mobile money, yeah. Mm. But mobile money in Kenya moves everything. Uh -huh. People can now transact from right from their, their house, uh -huh. get money from their account, bank account. People sheeted. buy steamer. Yes, mm. exactly. People pay for haircuts. So that is uh -huh. enough for us to move and get out of this uh, lack of employment rat mm -hmm. by embracing forex trading. It's you can trade you can, on your phone, you can get yes, paid on your phone. You exactly. can trade on Only your phone. Only in Kenya. <laughs> Only in Kenya. Uh -huh. And imagine, that is it. Uh, the fact that we are out here, it doesn't mean that I don't have time to sit in my house and do that. I can mm -hmm. do everything, transaction-wise, uh -huh. everything in my house. I'll trade in my house. Uh -huh. I'll withdraw that money in my house through M-Pesa mm -hmm. technology. And so no, to me, mama pia kidogo. Nani to me kidogo. Yes. All right, I like this very much because uh, it's very, it's, it's a very progressive conversation. Yes. And when we talk about forex trading, is the government supporting this? Uh, forex uh, trading industry let me call it an industry do you think there's enough support from the government and the government is doing what needs to be done or they can improve it yes for now there is there is there is a uh, i can say much improved support from the government mm -hmm. because now you will realize that uh before then we, we didn't have a formal local forex broker mm -hmm. But right now, with the support and the, the required legislation that were put in place uh, last year, mm -hmm. uh, it is after those legislation that came into place mm -hmm. that now the government was able out now to give uh, a license to a broker. Mm -hmm. So we have a broker in town who has uh, finished one year, mm -hmm. and two months ago, again, another online forex pro broker was also licensed. So mm -hmm. 
to me, that is uh, a show of growth and show mm -hmm. of support from the government side. Mm -hmm. At the same time, again, uh, the various uh, tax clinics we are we have been in with the government mm -hmm. to just again give us the assurance that, uh, in as much as we are doing the online business as online forex uh, brokers, mm -hmm. this is what will be required of you in, in terms of paying our tax. And so, to me, that is a, a step uh, forward. Mm -hmm. And again. There is a whole department uh, with the Capital Markets Authority now mm. in charge of uh, online forex uh, trading. So, mm. to me, that is enough support from the government. Wonderful. Yes. Uh, right after we had the conversation, I went to, to preach the gospel. Yes. I went to be a fisher of men. <laughs> and then uh, this is what I got. My head hurts when I was doing the explaining. Yes. So many heads were hurting. So we have the issue of business. Uh, Kenyans will have Facebook, but will employ somebody to run it for them. Mm. Uh, we have seen celebrities do that. True, true, uh, true. Kenyans will have Instagram, will have somebody to run it for them. Mm. What do you tell that person who says, all right, I can get you to this, but can I find somebody to trade for me? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my colleague had mentioned about uh, the academy that we currently have, and mm -hmm. you'll find the tools that we have in the academy are so much powerful. Mm -hmm. we, it doesn't require you actually to be monitoring your charts full time, mm -hmm. even if you've got uh, a tight schedule. Mm -hmm. Remember, we've got also doctors in place mm -hmm. who are trading forex, mm -hmm. and you understand how a doctor schedule is, right? Yes. Someone who <laughs> just wakes up in the morning has to go to the ward rounds, mm -hmm. attend to the mm -hmm. patients, and, and sometimes, sometimes they don't even get to sleep. Um, exactly, you told exactly, there's an emergency. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have got tools in place. Mm -hmm. If you can learn how to use those tools, mm -hmm. uh, placing you just have to place your trades and you continue with the normal uh, uh -huh. routine of your work that you are so the best way is, is always to trade yourself exactly trade exactly. yourself don't get somebody to exactly, trade exactly exactly and in information mm. it's also mind jogging to always uh, uh, engage your mind into yes. into into digits and everything yes. True. you jog your mind true mm. That's why you guys look young and fresh always. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things. <laughs> All right, I like this. Uh, information, information, information. I'm mm. pro information. Yes. How can people get to get more information directly? Some people like it personal. Yes. Yes. Some people don't like uh, uh, to watch clips or mm. animated graphics. Some people like that personal touch mm. of it. Is it something you guys do? Yes, that is what we are doing. Uh -huh. uh, that's why we, we, we are saying it's just not uh, a matter of you being part and parcel of the academy. Mm -hmm. no. It is a matter of uh, you, yes, coming on board and learning from the online platform, but at mm -hmm. the same time we avail ourselves to make sure that uh, we are there to tutor you mm -hmm. on one-on-one -on -one and uh, mentor you. Because, mm -hmm. again, we, we, we appreciate the fact that uh, we need to work with you. Because mm -hmm. I'm not just bringing you on board mm -hmm. and then say I've given you powers to read and do whatever you want and you go your way you know mm -hmm. ours is uh, we have realized that uh, yes we have had any many other forex uh, trading uh, academies around mm -hmm. but one of the key things we realized that was a weakness is uh, you just train me and you leave me to the world mm -hmm. but now what we are basically telling people hey here we want to la have that one-on-one -on -one with you mm -hmm. Because uh, forex industry is not easy. Mm -hmm. it's, a it's, it's a process. It's not something you just come in and get rich. I always say it's not a get rich kick scheme. Uh -huh. It is something you need to take your time. It uh -huh. is something you need a mentor. If uh -huh. you have never had that accountability partner, that is the time you need to have someone who will tell you, hey, my brother, this is how you need to do it, mm -hmm. or this is how you need to go, or please watch out your account, or this is what is happening. So that one-on-one -on -one touch is what now we are bringing on board. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, so it's like any other uh, buying and selling business. Yes. You have to be patient. Yes. Your stock has to move slowly. <laughs> <laughs> we usually have a term that, uh, in fact, in Forex, mm -hmm. It's your patience that's going to pay you. Uh -huh. You have to be patient. Patience pays. Yes. The cliche saying patience yes, pays yes, mm. yes, yes, applies yes. here. The, the people formulated <laughs> and anticipated this for <laughs> I, I, I think they were they are for <laughs> <They were forex. laughs> I like this. All right. So another thing about Kenyans is success stories. Mm -hmm. Yes. When they see success stories, they stream in in abundance. <laughs> so all they want is one success story and say, "Wow, if this person could do this." Mm. How can I do this? Yes. Is this something you're also selling? Because as much as you want people to jump on board, yes. uh, it has to be it has to be convincing. So, uh, is this something you're pushing for success stories of forex trading? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I have a friend of mine, uh -huh. and uh, he's uh, 25 years of age. Uh -huh. And uh, last week, actually, last week is when uh, 
he got to share with me his story. Mm -hmm. I never, I never inquired so much about his life. Uh -huh. So that uh, last week he opened up to me and uh, whatever he shared with me was mind blowing uh -huh. because I didn't know actually that he was coming from that type of a setup. Uh -huh. uh, the boy used to be a street boy. Uh -huh. So to say so, after he lost both of his parents, mm -hmm. he found himself on the streets, mm -hmm. only to be rescued by a certain mom mm -hmm. who adopted uh, him as a, as a son. Mm -hmm. And the mother brought him up. Mm -hmm. And uh, given that also the mother was not coming from a, a well uh, set up community, something mm -hmm. of the sort. She was just compassionate. Uh, she was just compassionate. Mm -hmm. But now it reached at a point where the guy was supposed to join college mm -hmm. and uh, when the mother looked at uh, the amount of money that she was actually supposed to spend for this boy to go to college mm -hmm. was uh, a lot of money and mm -hmm. uh, she didn't know actually how she's going to raise this money. Mm -hmm. But uh, fortunately enough, the mother got to know about forex trading mm -hmm. and what she decided was to enroll the boy mm -hmm. to the forex trading business. Mm -hmm. Right now, one year down the line, mm -hmm. The guy is doing marvelous, uh -huh. and uh, last week, to be precise, uh -huh. he did uh, profits of twenty thousand US dollars. That's two million shillings. Uh -huh. And I asked him one question: <laughs> Why the passion? And he told me the reason why he's doing all this is because of his mother, uh -huh. who found him on the streets, uh -huh. and right now he's able to achieve whatever he's achieved. And introduce him yes, to exactly. Forex trading. Exactly. Mm. As a by the way, As since we can't <laughs> take you to college. <laughs> Uh, Jaribui. <laughs> Jaribui. Mm. And yes. this has worked out for This more. has worked out for him. And uh -huh. uh, uh, to me, uh, that's an, um, a massive achievement. That's a, that's a huge one. That's a huge one. That's a huge story <laughs> right there. White Fair for <laughs> channel on Twitter. White Fair for underscore channel on Instagram. And White Fair for on Facebook. If you have any questions on Forex trading or matters of Forex trading, send them our way. Hashtag is why in the morning. Hashtag is entrepreneurship Tuesday. We have uh, amazing gentlemen right here to answer your questions. So another thing, uh, I got really grilled last time for not taking people through the steps of getting into it until Sasa, you can mm. trade and, and, and compare yes. the way you guys said. Yes. So you have the interest. Yes. Uh, you, have gone to, uh, you have gone and, uh, and gotten the, the knowledge that you need. Yes. What is the next step? How, how do you trade now? What, what is the platform? What is... Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have the interest, you have gotten the skills now. What now needs for you to do is to now open a live trading account mm -hmm. with a registered broker. Mm -hmm. And in our case here, we have a local registered broker. So mm -hmm. you need to open a live, opening a live account with a, a local registered broker is free. Mm -hmm. Even the offshore ones is free. But mm -hmm. my advice personally, I always say go for the local broker. Mm -hmm because uh, it's f uh, basically free. So it is from there now you are able now to do your capital. It's mm -hmm. like, for example, I have identified this is where I want to do my business from. Mm -hmm. So it is from there now I need to pay the rent of, of, of that place mm -hmm. and then stock it. All right. Yes, so it is from there I'm in business. So uh -huh. basically now you open a live trading account. Mm -hmm. What Kenyans do is they short circuit the system. Uh -huh. They quickly jump to open a live trading account. Mm -hmm. and that's why they will come with horror stories uh -huh. and telling me, me the issues of Forex I don't want. So when you ask him, tell me just slowly by slowly, why is it that you don't love uh, Forex? Mm -hmm. He's like, no, I open a live account and my money blew. But ask him, did you first of all went through the process of learning? No. So we will rather uh, encourage, and, and I like what uh, the brokers who are coming on board, and I think, it, I think it's a commitment they have, uh, or it's a requirement the government is requiring from them to train people. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were talking with a friend of ours uh, from, the, from, from the, the European Union, and uh, they're saying that the laws there are so strict mm -hmm. that there is no broker who will just bring you on board for the sake of just you want to trade. Mm -hmm. You need to show costs. Mm -hmm. show, show costs basically means do you have the knowledge mm -hmm. of, of, of what you are entering into. Mm -hmm. And so it, it is one of the key things. That's why we are coming on board and mm -hmm. we are telling people, yes, this is a lucrative industry. It's an industry that indeed will pay you and pay you good, mm -hmm. but learn how to go about it. And so mm -hmm. the moment you do that, then you have a, a, a broker for you mm -hmm. who now acts 
as your intermediate between you and the market. So all these people asking questions, what is the name of the app? What uh, they should follow the steps, learn. Exactly. learn yes, exactly. But before you even ask yes. for the name of the app. Yeah, exactly. Don't even <laughs> ask. Don't, we, we have just come to the studio and I think uh, one of your guys told us another app that really swindled him. So he <laughs> said, my friend, it, it, it's because you, you, you short circuit the, the, the system. Exactly. So yes. follow the steps. Uh, yes. You see, uh, as simple as that. Learn, fund your account later, as mm. simple as that. Learn, fund your account Computer, later, like yes. any other industry. Like any mm. other Before industry. you build a road, go to uh, engineering school. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for coming through. How can they get to contact you? Mm -hmm. Your contacts, social media, to maybe phone numbers. Your camera is number four. Okay, how to go to, to contact us on, on Facebook is Lenin Iumagomia. Mm -hmm. That is a very uh, good name and mm -hmm. it's a long one. So mm -hmm. if you get in another Lenin, you just know it's Lenin Iumagomia. That is on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And then my mobile number is 0720 mm -hmm. 765897. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Okay, good. Um, uh, Wicklif Sewe. Mm -hmm. If you go to uh, social media, Facebook, I'm uh, Wicklif Sewe. If you go to Instagram, just weekly sewe. Go to Twitter, I'm uh, weekly sewe, mm -hmm. and uh, you can get in touch with me through zero seven one one eight seven three eight seven zero. I'm a kamatu kono aswaili. Bawa elewi kimo kimo na sefuri sefuri saba moja moja nane saba tatu. Nani Saba Sufuri. <laughs> Thank you very much. I know you guys are, are, are filled uh, with wisdom. Your last remarks, words of wisdom uh, to, to the people who are watching you right now. My last remark will be, I will quote the great Chinua Achebe. Mm -hmm. He once said that uh, when uh, you invite uh, the villagers to your house, it's mm -hmm. not that uh, they are starving. Mm -hmm. It's just that uh, you want to share love mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the warmth of your house. Uh -huh. So it's the same thing we are doing to Kenyans. Mm -hmm. We are not here in the business because so someone will ask, uh, why are you sharing this? Mm -hmm. Why can't you just uh, be with it and uh, let it profit you? Mm -hmm. Our main aim is just to share this concept mm -hmm. which has changed our lives, our mm -hmm. families, mm -hmm. and our friends mm -hmm. to the various Kenyans uh, we, we have interacted with. So mm -hmm. it's the same thing we are doing today. Mm -hmm. We just want to echo those words mm -hmm. as we share this we are not sharing because you are starving. We are sharing because there is a concept mm -hmm. that is revolutionizing uh, the world at this point in time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have an opportunity as a country mm -hmm. with, the, with, the, with the ICT age mm -hmm. to move this economy forward. And again, mm -hmm. uh, count yourself that uh, when the history of Forex is going to be written in this nation, mm -hmm. We want to be part and parcel of it. Be part and parcel of it. Yes. And bring the foreign exchange to True. the country as yes. well. Your last remarks. Okay, good. my last remarks, and uh, this is something that uh, really motivated me to jump into forex trading. Mm -hmm. Because number one, I usually ask myself if, uh, and this is something also that I will want to post to the youths and uh, outside there. Whatever that you are currently doing, can you ask yourself one thing? Does it make you happy? Mm -hmm. Number two, is it something that grows you, something that develops you? And then number three, is it something that puts money into your pocket? Because mm -hmm. those are some of uh, those are the three things which I usually look at before I jump into something. And uh, last but not least, uh, and this is usually like an assurance, stat assurance statement that I normally say, one day you'll appreciate yourself for taking part the forex trading industry mm -hmm. this thing is a revolution and uh, it's an idea which uh, its time is now and you will appreciate yourself it's time has come it has it's time has <laughs> come this yeah. is the time mm -hmm. yes and you know what they say about I an idea whose time has, has come, come. Yes. forex trading is here in the we're living in the information age as i said take part in this your opportunity might lie in this. And don't sit there and say uh, there the, 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 the are no jobs. Exactly. Yesterday I had a conversation on radio about guys with PhDs who are mm. told to start small. Siringa ju kona kona PhD class. Start small. Yes, this is a place you can start small and build yourself. Exactly. True, 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 exactly. true. Exactly. Exactly. Wonderful. Thank you very, very much, guys, for okay. coming through the second time. Thank I'm looking you. forward to having at least queens sometimes. Yes, we, 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 we have queens of forex, and uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, we, we, they are raring to come and be uh, part of uh, this show. Mm -hmm. 
So we will bring them on board because again, it's not a man show alone. Uh -huh. we, we have also ladies, uh -huh. mamas who have uh, have actually, from our team, uh -huh. success rate of uh, ladies is eighty percent. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yes, from our team. Because so, I hear they use their brains more. Yes, than us. actually, success uh -huh. rate from from our for, for, uh, of ladies in our team is eighty percent. Wow. That's why we are really trying to push the, the boy child. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, you guys. From, from, from Mr. Max Bailey, there was a there is a certain conversation which we are having. Uh -huh. There are some of our friends, and uh, this is one thing that he mentioned uh -huh. that uh, ladies, when it comes to analysis, uh -huh. the reason why they are beating us men, uh -huh. they are very they tend to be so much accurate uh -huh. when it comes to accuracy, uh, their accuracy and the analysis of the uh -huh. forex market. And now uh, it's not it's not a surprise that uh -huh. he has mentioned that the eighty percent of the success rate of <laughs> All right. it, even, it even translates to how they select their, their, their <laughs> boys. <abortion. laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. We have come to the end of this, and it's all about forex trading. Get more information. They share the social media handles. You can get more information about this thing, and it is the future for a fact. Let's reduce the unemployment rate in this country. Let's put money in the pockets of the youth and the power is in our hands. I will go by the name of Barimosis or it's Barry on every social media platform. Alex is coming up next with another powerful interview. So don't worry, don't touch that up. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>